And another thing that people need to know is that her, uh, Margaret Thatcher's husband, and this is something I've known for many years, is that her, her husband was, you might as well say, one of the greatest and the biggest financial owners of the gold mines in that time. Um, so I'm talking Nelson Mandela and all this, when, you know, in England we had free Nelson Mandela. But the reason why we supported, well, England supported apartheid so much, but they didn't do it sort of like up front openly was because her husband owned most of the gold mines. Margaret Thatcher's husband was the biggest gold mine owner. The Cougarang. Most people way back in the day, they would remember that. The Cougarang, it was a sovereign. The Cougarang. And I had to go back to Africa. South Africa, England had major power in the gold in South Africa. And I remember, I grew up. Free Nelson Mandela, free Nelson Mandela. But our government, behind closed doors, they owned and run everything. And as I said, her husband owned most of the biggest gold mines in South Africa. So all the time when we were growing up, seeing all these things, free him, all this stuff, all this the big hype on, on the TV, we were funding it. We were funding it. <laughs> well, you know the day I actually realised that and found that out and, it, and I couldn't believe it was this commonplace. It's this look behind certain clothes. It was there in our faces. What kind of a, a mirage? That's when I stopped looking at the news and taking in information slightly different. It was like, but we own, this country owns this, the oppression that's going on. But we're pretending like we haven't got nothing to do with it. Margaret Thatcher used to lie down with the big man at night. It was her husband. He owned it. So vested interests, I don't know. Her son sells weapons. <laughs> Her son he sells weapons. Her son, her son was an arms dealer that staged coups. Not one, but two. Think about it. Papa Guinea, I'm doing this off the top of the head. I, I should have a report and read it out to you, but no, I'm doing it off the top of the head because this is real. Papa you Guinea, the coups. Um, they, I don't know. I'm just saying to you, these are things that have happened and I'm not really rating them. I don't think you should, but the bottom line is there's a 50-50 to this woman. I'm just saying the facts. You, I want you to research them, look for them yourself. I'm not gonna shout out names or anything like that. Do your research. I Sometimes I want, I, I want you to think I'm a liar so you can find out the information for yourself and make up your own mind.